welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this video was actually requested by two of you guys last year, and unfortunately, I'm just now getting to it. But nevertheless, here is my current morning and night skincare routine. So on weekday mornings, I'm usually really pressed for time because your girl likes to wake up at the last minute. So Monday through Friday, I do like to use the Cosal Rex Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. And this has botanical ingredients that really smell kind of like minty and it helps to wake me up. Also has a nice low pH balance so it doesn't strip my skin from its moisture. However, on the weekends or days that I have nothing to do, um, I do like to use the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. So this cleanser is really high in antioxidants um, because of the blueberry ingredient. Um, but the formula is also super bouncy as you can see. Both of the products that I mentioned are actually uh, Korean products and I was drawn to them because they have such a safe pH level and if you don't know what that means, it means that it's not going to strip your skin of its moisture, which you don't want that to happen. I've been doing a lot of research guys. You don't want all the moisture <laughs> to be stripped from your skin. That reduces future breakouts and wrinkles. So after I've cleansed, I like to use um, my beauty water from Sun and Park and this is like an all-in-one product it is a, a makeup remover it's a toner it's an exfoliator and this is just really great um, you know of course to tone the skin but it also is super refreshing in the mornings and it's a really great step uh, to prep for makeup I like to use a nice hydrating essence. Um, I am using the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And if you have ever heard of this product, or know the price of this product, let me just say I am a normal person. I usually don't buy something this expensive, um, but this was a birthday gift. I will be doing a review uh, on this later. <laughs> and for my last step, I'm using the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer. Stuff is bomb. This is just the travel size and trust me I will be buying the full size because I've never or have yet to use a moisturizer that has such a matte effect to it and that's perfect for me in the mornings because I love to use moisturizer but I just tend to look really oily afterwards and this does not do that at all. So yeah, this is my morning routine. I like to keep it fairly simple and quick because like I said before, I am always pressed for time. Um, however, for the nighttime, that's a, that's a different story. Have I, have I ever told you guys how much I love skincare? Like, have I ever like really told you guys? Because you're about to find out. I once heard the saying that it should take just the amount of effort and time to remove your makeup as it does to put it on and guys that stuck with me like crust on bread. So I'm really meticulous at night when it comes on to makeup removal. So for my first step in makeup removal, um, I like to use the Dermaclear Micro Water uh, by Dr. Jart. And this is basically like your normal like micellar water. It has a purifying effect of hydrogen mineral water. Um, so it does do a really great job of breaking down um, any type of waterproof uh, eye makeup that I have on. And I also like to kind of, I guess basically just remove the bulk of my makeup with this. So I do like to use it for my eyes and for my face as well. Dirty, 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 dirty. So for my second step in makeup removal, um, I like to use the Hamish All Clean Balm. Um, I do use the double cleansing method. Um, I like this because it really just eat, just even more just gets all the makeup off. It is paraben free. Um, it doesn't have an overly like scented smell to it. If anything, it smells very like menthol, uh, like uh, what's that called? Vicks Vapor Rub kind of smell. But yeah, it just breaks down into an oil and then once water hits it, it does emulsify into this milk kind of substance. Guys, let me apologize. 
apologize for um, the, the angle of this. I was having some camera angle difficulties, you know, and it was just difficult <laughs> for me trying to find the right angle in the mirror for you guys. So towards the end of this, it, you'll be able to see me better, I promise. last step <laughs> um, I like to use the fresh soy face cleanser this does a really great job of breaking down um, the the Hamish all clean balm I just used and this is also super gentle it has a nice pH level it's paraben free it is like one of my holy grail products because I seriously did not like this product when I first tried it out but I so appreciate how it is just so gentle it doesn't strip my skin of moisture I've always heard these, these same words by other youtubers I looked at and I don't know maybe I maybe I just got older and then now all of a sudden this stuff like like pH and paraben free it all means something to me now Um, what you see me doing right now is the quote-unquote ditching the towel method and that is really just not using a towel they say that's really bad because the bacteria just pat my skin until you know all the water is gone so I do exfoliate like once or twice um, in, in the week and I do like to use the Neogen um, gauze peeling pads in the scent green tea and they also have a scent also in uh, wine and lemon but it's just this small little pad um, it's got like this nice little scratchy side and then a soft side you know scratchy side soft side <laughs> but yeah the scratchy side it uh, definitely exfoliates your skin and then once you're finished doing that you just switch it around and use the soft side as a buffer and this is actually a product that does not um, it can't just stay on your skin, so you do have to rinse it off. But it has really great properties um, to, you know, calm your skin. I know green tea does that a lot, um, but it's also really great for brightening up your skin as well. And also, just to clarify, I said brightening, not whitening. <laughs> there is a difference. Just you know, just in case you guys got worried for a second, like what? She's trying to whiten her skin? No, I'm just <laughs> brightening it. Uh, most skincare products um, help to brighten your complexion and give you a nice youthful glow. And now I'm just rinsing off the product. Alright, so now for toner, I am using the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I just got this and Fresh just has some really great products guys, but um, this also removes impurities and it softens your skin. It smells a lot like the Mario Badescu uh, rose water, um, but yeah, it's got nice little rose petals in it and that looks like a little pee pee pad. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, but I just got this and I absolutely love it. It's really great, uh, again, for a nice deep hydration as well as toning the skin. To facial treatment clear lotion um, like I said before I will be doing a review on this um, yeah so I'm not really gonna go into too much detail because I don't want to give it away but just so you know I really really do like this product just so you know and then I'm just following up with the SK2 facial treatment essence Firming Beauty Shot. Um, this is a, an amazing product. Like, I don't even know where to begin with this, but this has gotten rid of um, any type of like my forehead lines. Like, I, I usually like kind of like squint and, and scrouch my eyebrows a lot when I'm making my facial expressions, and we get all these really deep wrinkles when I would do that. But I've been using this product um, since 
I want to say around like October of last year and I've seen such a major difference to my skin. Um, it has like this thickness of almost like an ampule, not necessarily like an oil, but it really does like lift and, and firm the skin. I'm, I'm just so amazed by that. Next, I like to use Misha's Time Revolution Night Repair Ampule. And this is almost like a, a serum, um, but like times five. Like it works super fast to repair the skin, to give it that deep hydration. So I use about a drop of that and, you know, put that all on my skin. And I've seen so much like results of just, just the firming and the moisture in my skin. It's just, it's been really great during this, this dry uh, and cold winter season. Okay, so for sheet mask, I've kind of been going back and forth um, with the NMF and then the doc Dr. Jart sheet masks. And I use sheet masks literally maybe once or twice a week. Um, I know I used to do it, I think, like <laughs> once every night, but I was like, you know what, this is just too much. But yeah, it's I'm using the Dr. Jart one right now, and it's really great because it just hydrates the skin, it soothes the skin, um, it's got aloe vera in it, and it's just it's nice and refreshing as well. And now I'm just tapping in whatever leftover serum um, was left from the mask, and you guys saw me making my funny faces. Does anybody else do that while they wait for their, their sheet mask? <laughs> is it just me? Am I weird? All right, and so my first step in moisturizing, I am using the SK2 RNA Power Moisturizer. Again, if you didn't hear me the first time, if you didn't hear me the second time, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a review on this, so definitely stay tuned for that to hear more detailed stuff about this product. It's a nice little cliffhanger, don't you think? Next, I'm using the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Hydro Gel. I'm absolutely in love with their products. Um, but this is legit like my face has taken a drink of water. It is the most hydrating gel I think I've ever used in a long time. Like I, I, I was switching back and forth between the Belief True Aqua Balm and this one. And I gotta say this one is definitely my favorite. It has a nice uh, light scent. And especially if you're acne prone, the, the, the texture and the thickness of this is so thin. It's really great to use if you have acne and you're wanting a nice hydration uh, to your skin without something being overly heavy. Definitely use this product. It's awesome. Shiseido Ultimate Eye Cream. Um, I usually don't use eye creams. I'm just now starting to dab into this because, you know, you're, I'm getting older. I mean, not old, but I'm getting older and I'm, I'm trying to have like, you know, the idea of trying to prevent stuff before it happens later, you know? So <laughs> I don't really have too much to say about that other than I think it's nice so far. And then lastly, guys, I am using my Innisfree Sleeping Pack. Excuse the, the packaging on how it looks. Um, but I've had this for a year and it, I still have a ton of this product left. I absolutely love um, the texture and the smell and the benefits of this product. Um, it does have green tea in it, which is super calming um, to my skin. And it's not overly heavy uh, for a sleeping pack. So I use that and guys, that is it. So I know that that might seem a little bit excessive and, and trust me sometimes it feels like that when I'm really tired but just know I just really love skincare and I'm not trying to achieve perfect skin. I always feel like I, I need to say that. Skincare for me is like bringing a spa to my house every night. So I hope that you guys all enjoy this video and I'll see you guys all next time. <music>